truly really good talents on both sides of the basketball. I'm excited for this matchup. I've been saying it all day, but I'm seriously very excited for this matchup. As I am I and Danny, as we get this one underway here, we know this is going to be a close one. If it's anything like history says it will be. Carissa Osborne with the ball on the baseline. Backs down her defender. Off the glass and in. Osborne already with two. She's the third leading scorer in the Pac-12 from a year ago at 16 points a game. And she's averaging 20.3 already this season. And what you're going to see from Osborne is she can score in a multitude of ways. That time getting into the post at 5'9", but is a, has a really good post presence for a guard. Will take advantage of that opportunity offensively. South Dakota State Jackrabbits, 2-1. and one. And Selen tries the three, won't go. Rebound goes to UCLA. And Gina Conti, who we're happy to see back from injury and in playing her sixth year, the senior. And I know Corey Close is happy to have her back on the court. She's been a part of this program, but good to see her playing. Yeah. Conti up top, drives the lane, dishes back out. Three-pointer is good, nothing but net. And that goes for Emily the Soir, the birthday girl. We've got two birthday girls on the team today. And Gabriella Hawke is the freshman. Really exciting to play on your birthday and then be in the Bahamas on your birthday. Like, that's a double treat. Right? Playing the three here. She's very versatile. Eh? She can play the two, the three, the four. Good one-on-one -on -one defense there from Cameron Brown. And Coach Close told me that's going to be important for us. Can we defend without fouling? Can we defend one-on-one? -on -one? They know that the Jackrabbits like to get downhill. And that time Cameron Brown just stayed in front of the offense, bodied up, walled up. Great defense there. Shot clock down to 10. Conti trying to find a seam. Over to Charisma Osborne, the three. I tell you, if you need a bucket and time is winding down, just give it to Osborne and give her some space. Exactly what she did there. Can score from anywhere. Inside with the double move there for South Dakota. She coming out of high school, chose to go to UCLA, also a Jordan brand athlete, and we'll get into that later because that story is super incredible uh, to see. But man, is she, she's a special talent. I'm really excited to see what she can do in her college career with Coach Close. Charisma uh, Osborne trying to steady things, and Jack Rabbits with the steal. Good post defense there from the Jack Rabbits. T semifinals. Where South Dakota State got the better of them and was as comfortable as possible. And the Jack Rabbits are really thin at the point guard position. That is the same again. Bringing the ball up the floor. Osborne now taking a quick breather on the bench. Quick breather for the quick shooter. Rice, who hails from Bethesda, Maryland, takes it to the hoop, and she's got it. Good defense by the Jackrabbits. Nelson. Holbuck knocks them both down, giving the Jackrabbits the lead by one, and we're probably going to see this all day, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, what a new. That was pretty. Bruins back on top. Be curious to see how many lead changes we'll have by the time this one is done. And true freshman is into the game from Camarillo, California. Charisma Osborne drives, layup no good. Jackrabbits rebound. And Osborne now with the defense in the backcourt. No hang in her head. She's right there on defense. Got to have a short-term memory. That's something you learn. Both teams are going to be right there this season. Osborne in the face. Shot clock down. No good. UCLA rebounds, and they'll reset. Certainly not the shot they wanted out of the... She had to because the shot clock was almost expired, but they'll try and set up a better look this time. Hawkes, bounce pass in the middle. Shot and one. Nice play by Conti there. Three-pointer, no good. And nice rebound there for the Bruins, Cameron Brown. 
the coach on the floor, the unofficial coach, Corey Close told us she's trying to get her to become a coach after her playing career is done. That's how smart she is while was working on. That nice defense there, Conti with the steal. She pulls up at the wing, the give and go to Gabriella. And one of the best defenders in the league, so if that's who she's modeling her defense after, she's in good hands. There's some great players in this battle for Atlantis that love to not only score, but play on the defensive end as well. Selen for three, got it. Conti, jumper, no good. And rebound, offensive rebound by Hawkins and Gabriella Hawkins. Well, she's been huge here. Just has made play after play, doing the little things to keep her team in the game. The pitch and play and the knockdown. UCLA finding the groove as they extend their lead to six. The Suarez got nine points. Selen drives, pops, got it. Defender down, Conti baseline down. So far they are playing well. Only reason we're not seeing Kiki Rice in right now is because she's on the bench with three fouls and foul trouble. Yeah, I mean, three of the freshmen, or excuse me, four of the freshmen that Coach Close brought in are top 50 in the country on ESPN. Uh, Kiki Rice, number two, Haka is number 19, London Jones. Yeah. What I'm seeing out of them so far, and the great thing about them is that they're getting minutes right now. They're not having to wait until they're sophomores or juniors. Their time is right now. They've got to adjust quickly. Holbeck with the shot on the other end. One of the good freshmen for South Dakota State. We talk about UCLA's freshmen, so we got a lot of them on the floor today. Five UCLA freshmen added to this team. Oh, nice pass in South Dakota State, pushing it up the floor. And shot no good for Brooklyn Meyer. Track meet status now. UCLA's Onu driving, scoring the Bruins. And Onu, another freshman that's really good, but she's so good off the bounce. Just a couple of dribbles, really explosive, and she finishes well with that right hand off the glass. Timmer grew all of last season, which is making her the player she is now as a sophomore. Outside shot, no good. Re offensive rebound. Charisma Osborne. Energy and that grit for your team. But what I'm seeing right now from South Dakota State is I think they're sped up a little bit. I don't think that they're handling the pressure as well offensively. Two and one at home this year. the three-point and get a shot off great defense there and the pick in the pocket talk about good defense it's Hawkins, Hawkins the freshman the layup strike steery as the shot clock winds down no good nice rebound by Selen, but loses control of the ball Conti's got it nice play by Conti 16 seconds left and they'll try to run this one down and get the last shot I would imagine Osborne up top six seconds to go looks for a crease in the lane she's got it Ooh. Nelson with the foul Osborne again and she's got it Kiki Rice known for her scoring but also will get to it on the defensive end Jack Rabbits from three, got it! In the post, she can finish with both hands, but we're starting to see more of her taking the ball on the perimeter, driving and kicking, using her ball handling skills, and that's been her improvement over the summer. Osborne left wing, she'll take the crease, and she's got the three. Or 21, rather, for Charisma Osborne. Danny has more, Danny. Yeah, you guys mentioned Maya Selland. Well, she's wearing number 44. I had to ask her because it's a unique number. That was her grandpa Doyle Selland's number. He made a loft in a barn, guys. Stay with me here. Selland on your team, a player who is known and who other players look out for. You need others to step up, and it's really been Nelson on that front. Huge part of this Jackrabbits team, and they're now within six. Good move. Sontag inside. Coach Close told us. We have had WNBA coaches give feedback on her game and tell us what she needs to improve on. Being able to hit those elbow jumpers at 50% makes. And like you talked about, we've seen a little bit of everything from Osborne. Just the outside shot, the inside in the paint, and then also getting her teammates involved. 
UCLA back at it. Rice driving, scores off the glass. Of course, right, Coach described Kiki as cerebral. She learns really well. She's got to keep trusting her instincts, which you've touched on. And I think it's important to note that she's been working out with the Wizards player development, Alex McClain. And obviously we know, as well as her dad, someone that she's looked up to, John, who's been a huge part of her basketball success too, guys. Thank you, Danny. And Corey Close said, you know, what do you mean? She needs to work on her confidence. She said she's a more confident ping pong player than she is basketball player. And they're working on that with her. Now they're getting good shots. They're in a good rhythm. Charisma Osborne is feeling poised and controlling this team. Seems like they're getting ready to go on a run. Osborne passes out to Hawkins inside the Iwalu. Working her defender and she's got it. Aware of them. But I think the freshmen just have been dangerous for this team today. Conti step back three, no good, but UCLA offensive rebound. They are just dominating these boards and tough for South Dakota State. Osborne driving, loses the ball, gets it back. 11 teams in the country, other teams that will get into the top AP 25 poll. Would not be surprised if UCLA could creep in there before the season is over, but she is spectacular. Open on the left. Family is here, his wife Lori and their three kids. They're all big Jackrabbits fans, so they're taking advantage of this trip to the Bahamas. Timmer in the lane, and the Justin family. It's going to be important for them to rebound here down the stretch, but also their half-court execution offensively. That was a concern for Coach Close coming into this tournament, but they've got to do better job. Good men, it's just had trouble staying in the game without fouling. We'll see if she can do that here, back from a knee injury. And there she goes, right to Bussoir for the layup. To get some minutes as a sophomore on the CCLA team. South Dakota State trailing by nine. Oh, bounce pass inside. How about that? In the ball out, that'll be Colbeck. Ball out under the basket. She can't find anyone. She does. Nelson up top. 22 on the shot clock, spin move in the lane, bounce pass, what a bucket there. Oh, she's been clutch. She's been clutch. When you watch this game, her stats make a difference, but she has just made play after play. Quick three-pointer. I mean, free throws can easily close out basketball games, and so they've been able to keep South Dakota State just a hand away from having a chance to win this game. 14 seconds left, Charisma Osborne there, tying things up. Loose ball, Cindy, South Dakota State. Couple of shots and no good. South Dakota State, a chance for a final shot. Three-pointer by Sellen, no good. Final shot, no good. And that'll do it for UCLA. The Bruins improved to 4-0.